just thinking about it. Can I ask you a, a special question? You ready? Ah, those are going to say. Why should you go to church? Or let me ask you differently. Why do you go to church? So tell me, give me some answers. Why do you go to church? Fellowship. Majiwari this name. Okay. Sambi. Okay, good. What else? To give thanks. Kansha of Surukoto. Okay, what else? Anything else? Saki yimashita ne. Ne wa sambi wa suru tame. Okay, what else? Anything else? Renewing our spirit. Amen. I wrote down. Oh, yeah, that's good. Renewing our spirit. Yeah, amen. Messages. Yeah, so da kara dei teki na juden mo degimasu yo ne. Kyo kai saiko desu ne. Kyo kai ni ikarai ni jiyobi wa honte ni iya desu ne. I really don't like to miss Sunday. I And even when I'm abroad, like I was so happy to be able to get on Skype L last week. I was um, calling Mariko and I was calling Emily and I was calling everybody saying, and then I called Gisela, like, turn on your Skype so I can see what's going on. Ah, why should I go to church? Many reasons people go to church. But sometimes people say, ah, I don't need to go to church. But you know, whenever I hear someone say that, I always think of Hebrews 10 25. Amen. So, and then we'll read in English. Okay, just a second, you have you got it in English? Say amen if you got it. Hebrews 10.25 Hebrews 10.25 When someone tells you, I, I don't need to go to church You can pull this up This is what I always think of Hi, Hi. Hi. Amen So forsaking not, uh, not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together That's church, right? as is the manner of some, but exhorting one another, and so much the more as you see the day approaching. So, we're not to forsake the gathering together. <laughs> but why? And it says here, if you look, let's look at verse 24. Let's read. Yeah, let's look at verse 24. Look back one verse. Okay, amen. And let us consider one another in order to stir up love and good works, not forsaking it, the assembling of ourselves together, as is the manner of some, but exhorting one another, and so much the more of. And as you see the day approaching. So why are we to get together? In verse 24 it says to stir up love and good, and good works. Amen. So the reason why we come to church is to stir ourselves up. How many ever had curry and you don't stir it up? doesn't taste so good, right? You gotta stir it up. You gotta get the ingredients together, right? The spices and everything. Because if you don't mix it up, it doesn't, the flavor doesn't come out. You know, before I came to Japan, I started, I started praying, God, I want to hear your voice. I don't want to be a religious person. I don't want to be a religious person. I said, I don't want to do stuff just to do stuff. I want to hear your voice, God. I want to know you. Shukyo tekina. Amen. 
I said, God, I want to know your power. I want to know your love. I want to feel your presence. And when you pray a prayer like that, God will answer you. Amen? Isn't that cool? God answers prayer. God answers prayer. Hallelujah. Do you have a prayer that you need answered? <laughs> My father went for surgery, uh, for shoulder surgery. His, his arm bone and the shoulder bone, were, the bones were grinding together. And he was in much pain. I can picture that the bone comes to the other bone says, Hey big bone, how you doing? <laughs> uh, hey big bone. Hey, so and so he you know when you get older the um, it, arthritis is when the, the packing between the bones goes away. That's what arthritis is, the doctor told me. あ、ルマチ、ルマチはあ、というのは骨、骨と骨の間のパッキングがパッキングというか血液がなくなるのがルマチらしいですね。だからこれだけでもすごい痛い。だからお父さんがあ、あ、あ、この際私英語だ。So so my father went for surgery. He has one titanium uh shoulder. Now he has he got surgery for a second one. And so, um, so he got surgery, and uh, I went there on when was it? Wednesday. I I didn't have any work to do on Wednesday, so I went in the morning uh, after the surgery to support my mother. Sarah, um, so, so I went to the hospital, my father, you know, last time he had surgery on the other one, it was really bad. He was really in pain and he was really drugged up. So he, what, the doctor says, whenever you're on these drugs, whatever is in your heart comes out. And so some people talk about, you know, sexual stuff and some people talk about, you know, bad words and this type of thing when they're on these drugs after they had surgery. So my dad asked the nurse to marry him <laughs> last time. And so, so, but he, but the doctor said, well, watch out for young people, because young people say all sorts of stuff and pretty nasty stuff when they're. So my, so my dad came out of surgery. We, I prayed for him before the surgery. It's okay to go to the doctor, right? So I prayed for him before with my mom. And then, so this is Wednesday morning. Then he comes out of surgery about 11 or 12. Or actually, he comes out of, they go into recovery and they come off the, um, the, uh, the, what do you call it? The anesthetic, whatever that is. The stuff. The anesthetic. And then, so they bring them, he, they brought my father into the room. And then, so he came in and he was still sleeping. They rolled him in on the back. Two nurses rolled him in. So my mom and I said, let's pray for him again. So, 
And so we prayed for him, and I said, I pray in Jesus' name that his re recovery would be quick. I pray that the pain will be minimal or nearly zero, and that he'll be back on his feet before you know it. And then he'll be back on his feet before you know it. Yeah, and so I did that, and um, then we left the hospital because he was asleep on Wednesday. Then Thursday morning I was at the U.S. house, and I had to go to a meeting, and my mother called me. And then she said, she said, uh, guess what? I got a phone call from somebody. I didn't recognize them this morning. And I said, and, and I said, who was it? She said, it was dad. He sounded so perky. He sounded great. And the doctor said he can get out of the hospital tomorrow. And I was so excited. I almost, I almost started crying because I said, God, you're so good. You're awesome. Thank you, Father. He's so good. God is so good. If you pray. すごい、俺を、俺を喜び、本当にもう泣きたいぐらいに神様あなたは最高です。お祈りしたらあなたは答えてくださることを感謝します。ハレルヤと思いました木曜日の朝。So I was so excited. I thought God you're so awesome. So when you pray, God answers. When you don't pray, no You got it. You got it. So we have to stir up the gifts it says here that we're supposed to stir up the gifts. We prayed for my father's speedy recovery and he's home and I talked to him this morning and he was sounding good. So why do you go to church? Why do I go to church? From um, Hebrews here, I go to church because I want to stir up love and good actions. Amen. We don't have much time. I have, um, I'm going to give you five of these. I have actually, uh, how many do I have? I actually have 12, but I'm going to only give you five. Uh, Sorry. Okay, so let's, um, so I go to church number one is to stir up love and good actions. That's Hebrews 10. Hebrews 10, 24, 25. Amen. Good job. Translation. Now let's look at 1 John 1, 3. 1 John 1, 3. And if you want the rest of these, I'll email them to you because God is good. And His Word is powerful and living. 1 John 1, 3. So this is number 2. I'll tell you in a second. Let's read 1 John 1, 3 and uh, verse 7 as well. Verse 3 and verse 7. え、さん、私たちの見たこと、聞いたことをあなた方に伝えるのはあなた方も私たちと交わりを持つようになるためです。私たちの交わりとは一子イエスキリストの交わりです。あめん。7節もお願いします。しかし、もし神が光の中におられ
And truly our fellowship is with the Father and His Son, Jesus Christ. But if we walk in the light as He is in the light, this is verse 7, we have fellowship with one another. And the blood of Jesus Christ, His Son, cleanses us from all sin. Why do I go to church? Number two, to be clean from all sin. To be clean from all sin. Amen. Amen. To be clean from all sin. When you know when you come to church, you know before we we um, receive the uh, communion, you I always say, Father, forgive me for my sins. But it's okay to ask forgiveness every day. You know, Father, forgive me. Show me where I'm wrong. Help me to grow. You know, we, we shouldn't be so sin conscious, but we should, if we screw up, just say, Father, forgive me. Get, get, get it off your plate. Get rid of it. If you got sin in your life, get rid of it. Don't hold on to it. Yes, for example, if you snap at your husband or your friend or your wife or whatever, and you snap at them, you know, if you snap at them, if you snap at them, and you feel then you know what's wrong, just say, I'm sorry. I'm, you know, and quickly get rid of it. Just say, it's so nice to be done with You'll see in a lot of these scriptures that it talks about walking and talking and acting in love. We're to act to love to our brothers and sisters, our siblings, our, our um, husband or our wife. It's about acting in love. It was really cool. Um, I had lunch with my pastor from the U.S. on Thursday at lunchtime. And... And he rem he was the one that married Mariko and I. He was our pastor in uh, Washington State. <laughs> and and he um he also remembered. He said, "Oh yeah, I remember your Japanese dad. He was wearing like a charcoal gray tuxedo." And I was like, "I don't remember that." <laughs> <laughs> and I said, and I said, and I said, I remember we had like a big snowstorm and half of the people didn't come. And he said, Oh, I don't remember that part. <laughs> And so I had just a great time of fellowship with my pastor in the U.S. He's a great guy. But you know that fellowship, he's a good guy, but God wants us to fellowship with him, and he's an even better guy. Yeah, so he, when you talk to God, God is perfect and, and the Holy Spirit will tell you about sin in your life. And that's what, part of coming to church. Uh, it's part of coming to church. That, なんか罪が起こした時にはそれを教えてくれてそれで教会に来る時にもそういう心にあのお話をしてくれる? 
Amen. So、um, God wants us to be free and clean from sin because He wants us to be like Him. You ready for number three? Colossians 3:16. Last week, Gigi was, she was preaching. I'm telling you, she had some great scriptures. I was like, this girl's prepared. Woohoo! Colossians 3:16. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Colossians 3:16 in English, New King James Version. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom. Teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your hearts to the Lord.、Amen. So, why do I go to church? I want to get God's word in me.、Amen. I want to get God's word in me. So, why do I go to church? Yes, I want to get God's word in me. You know that、uh, when I was a kid in Washington State, there was a preacher that came to our church and he said something that I never forgot. And I told the pastor on Thursday, I, I remember this. Message was taken away. He said, You know, this is the word of God, right? How many people got the word of God in their hand? You got it?、Yeah. Amen. So, this is the word of God. He said,、um, The better you know the word of God, the better you shall know the God of the word. word.、Yeah. Amen. Yeah, that's right. So, because it says here, let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. It means know the word of God. Know the word of God. If you know the word of God, when sickness comes, you can say Isaiah 53, 3 5. Sickness and disease, you're not coming on me in Jesus' name. Amen. You, when you know the word of God, you're, if you're your mother or your father or family members in the hospital, you can pray over them and say, In Jesus' name, be well, because the word of God says, You shall be made well. When, when you know the word of God, you can say, when you give your tithe to church and you give your tithe to the Lord, you say, Lord, I'm giving this to you and I thank you, Father God, that you're going to bless it 30, 60, 100 full. Amen. Because it says in Malachi 3 that when you give your tithe, that God will open the windows of heaven and pour out his blessing on you. Amen. How many people need a blessing? I, wanna, I need a financial blessing. I'm believing God for breakthrough. Hallelujah. Amen. He's good. 
So I go to church. Why do I go to church? Number three is because I want to get God's word in me. Okay, and then we're going to do the next one is Colossians as well. Colossians 2.2. Two. Col Colossians 2.2. Two. Okay, we're cruising here. Are you with me? If, if you're with me, say amen. 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 Hallelujah. Colossians 2.2. 2. Have you got it? Amen. 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 So in uh, English it says, uh, Colossians 2 2 says, that their hearts may be encouraged, knit to, being knit together in love and attaining to all the riches of of the full assurance of the understanding, and the last part, this is key, to the knowledge of the mystery of God, both of the Father and of Christ. Why do I go to church? Because I want to know the mysteries of God. You know, every January, uh, my wife and I used to go to a minister's conference in Texas, and we would sit and we would hear three messages a day, three or four, one, two, Three, four, five messages a day. And by the end of the day, you're so tired. But, but as you're listening to the Word, the Holy Spirit's speaking to you. Dallas? And sometimes you're sitting there listening to the message and you're and and the the messenger is giving the message, but the Holy Spirit's telling you something different. Because you're getting under the word of God. God speaks to you in his presence is fullness of joy, in his presence is fullness. So when you get into church, God will speak to you and give you answers to those things you've been asking about during the week. So um, he'll speak to you and answer questions that you have during um, that you had during the week or as you're asking him about stuff, he'll give you answers. So why do I go to church? Number four is because I because I to know the mysteries of God. The guy can be giving a message on tithing and the Holy Spirit can be teaching you about you know forgiveness. Yeah, so God, there's so much. God is so deep. God is so deep. I was in an airplane last night and I was flying 10,000 meters high in the air. Mm -hmm. If you look from the airplane and you look from the, and you try to see people, you can't even see people. We little 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 people, you know. <laughs> you can't even see them. The mountains look like a, you know, the mountain looks like, you know, like that speaker over there. You know, it's very small, you know. And so, you know, you're way up above. That's 10,000 meters. Ten, from the airplane to the ground, that's very far. It's very, if it were the ocean, it would be very deep, right? その 
So I just think of, man, God, God's way, way deeper than that. God is, if you were at the sun, and the sun, if you were at the sun and you looked at the earth, the earth would be the size of a golf ball compared to the sun. The sun is so huge, and God made the sun. That's the proportion. It's the sun is so huge, and God made the sun. If you just look at the stars in the sky, it's so awesome. God created those stars. He and He's the creator of the universe, but yet He cares for you. It says in Psalms that God created the stars with his fingers. And so if the sun is 15 times uh, bigger uh, than the earth, well, not even 15 times, what am I saying? If the, sun, if the earth is like a golf ball compared to the sun, and the sun is a star, then God must be pretty big. There's so much to God that you can learn. There's so much that you can learn. Hallelujah. Let's go to my, this is one of my favorite places, Acts chapter 2. Why do I go to church? Why do you go to church? To be religious? Some people do. Why do you go to church? Just to see friends? Some people do. Nisho Isetsu this. Okay, so the Yonjuni says in Iton de Grasai. To watch the Grasai in this country. Tom de Grasai. So next one. And then, Saigo ni Yonju Roku Yonju Nana, on the Ashmas. Hallelujah. So, um, Acts chapter 2, verse 1 says, When the day of, the, of Pentecost had fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. Now skip to verse 42. Verse 42. And they continued steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine and fellowship, and in the breaking of bread and in prayers. And then skip down to verse 46. Verse 46 says, So continuing daily with one accord in the temple and breaking of bread from house to house, they ate the food with gladness and simplicity of heart. Verse 47, Praising God and having favor with all the people. And the Lord added to the church daily those who were being saved. I love this section because it shows that a healthy church is a growing church. Um, it, and, and if you go back to verse 1, it says that they were in unity. In one accord. 
And they were in the Word according to verse 42. And then in verse 46 it says they were continuing daily in the temple. They were at church every day. Amen. And then in verse 47 it says they, what were they doing at church? Were they whining and complaining? It says they were praising God and having favor with all the people. And the Lord added daily those who were being saved. Why do I go to church? Is to be unified in bringing people to God's kingdom. So don't go don't go to church just I mean go to church for yourself, of course, but also go to church for other people. Go to church to be an encouragement to other people. I was in a church of 2,000 people, but I was more encouraged by our church that's a little bit less than 2,000 people. <laughs> Just a little bit. I was in the worship where they had lights. Flashing lights and the band and amazing sound system and a huge stage and spotlights on the singers. Amazing grace. So then, that church, there were many spotlights and speakers, very good speakers, and many good things. I was jealous. I was like, wow, these guys got a lot of good stuff. But that was Saturday night. Then Sunday, when I came to and I wa and I was a part of our church, I was standing in the hotel room going like this, <laughs> Hallelujah! I was standing in front of the desk with my computer there. You guys probably saw my belly button, you know. I was just going Hallelujah. <laughs> And I love it in church when you guys bring a friend and that person comes and accepts the Lord. What was the name? Joy? Was it Joy that accepted the Lord? You know, and then we've, we've had various people, many, uh, you know, dozens and, and probably hundreds of people accept the Lord through this church in various ways. Praise God. But I want to see thousands. I want to see thousands of people come to Jesus. Don't you? The, you know, the Lord said, it says that godliness is profitable in the, in the Bible, in the New Testament. Godliness is profitable. And when you come to church and when you fellowship with the other believers in church, you're profiting. You're going to be built up. When you make time to get into God's place, into God's house, He will bless you. Amen. There are so many benefits to being a part of church. I don't want to miss church. Even if I'm in Oklahoma or Florida or Tibet, I want to be a part of this church. Don't you love church in God's house? Yeah, Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Let's pray.